Okay guys, welcome to our lesson today in statics. Today we're covering chapter 3, number 22. So the problem states, before the trunk of a large tree is felled, cables A, B, and B, C are attached as shown. Knowing that the tensions in the cables A, B, and B, C are 555 newtons and 660 newtons, respectively, determine the moment about O of the resultant force exerted on the tree by the cables at B. Okay, so first we'll start off by drawing a free bar diagram. We have our base of our tree, point O. That goes straight up vertically to our point B. We have our tension and our cables going from point B to point A, as shown. That will be tension B to A. And we also have point C as well. We have our tension in that cable would be tension B to C. All right. And then the problem asks us for the moment about O at point B due to the resultant of these two vectors. So I'm going to write out that formula. The moment about O is equal to the position vector going from O to B. So right here is the R vector going from O to B. That would show up in our equation here. Cross product with the resultant force at B. So there will be a resultant. So notice the problem states resultant there. I've gone ahead and drawn in a vector that's going to represent our resultant vector pointing down for the resultant vector at point B due to tension in cable BA and BC. So next we're going to determine what is that position vector. What is our position vector from O to B? We'll notice on the diagram we go from the ground level zero up seven meters to point B. So we have simply a position vector of seven meters in the J hat direction. Okay. Next, we can go ahead and determine what our position vector is for BA to find our tension force, our tension vector. So position vector from B to A. Notice we go 0.75 meters in the negative I hat, negative x-axis direction going from B to A. So be minus 0 0.75 in the I hat direction. We're going down the tree, so we'd go down 7 meters in the j-hat direction. In the k-hat, we're coming out a distance of 6 meters in the positive direction, so we plus 6 k-hat. We'll do the same thing for the position vector from B to point C. Okay, From B to point C, in the x-axis, we're going out 4.25 meters in the positive i-hat direction. We're again going down the tree, 7 meters, so negative 7 j-hat. And then for the z-axis, we're coming out positive 1 meter. Good. Now we can go ahead and find the distance for each one of these. The distance will be the, simply the square root of each of these components squared out together. So the square root of 0.75 squared plus negative 7 squared plus 6 squared. Okay, good. So this distance from B to A, we type in the calculator, we have simply 0.75 squared plus in parentheses, negative 7 squared plus 6 squared. We'll square root this number, and we get 9.25 for our distance from B to A. Good. We can do the same thing for our distance from B to C. It would simply be the square root of 4.25 squared plus negative 7 squared 
plus 1 square root a will be 1. So the distance from b to c, if we work this out, let me focus. If you work this out, you'd have 4.25 squared plus negative 7 in parentheses squared plus 1 squared root is 1. We'll square root this number. We get 8.25 for our distance from B to C. Good to know. Now we can find our tension vectors and break them into our components for cable BC and BA. So we'll do tension BA first. So that's going to be the tension value BA they give us in the problem. Over the distance BA we just calculated, multiplied by the position vector we just found as well from B to A. Okay. Focus the camera. We can continue. They tell us tension in BA is 555 newtons. Good to know. Divided by our distance of 9.25. Units will cancel here, so I don't need to include units for meters. We have our position vector RBA, negative 0.75 I hat, minus 7 J hat, plus 6 K hat. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and multiply this out. We have 55 divided by 9.25. We get a value of 60. So we're going to simply multiply each one of these equal to 60. Multiply each one of these components by 60. So 60 times negative 0.75 is negative 45. In the i hat direction, we have negative 7 times 60, which would be negative 420 in the j hat direction. And then we have 60 times 6, which would be positive 360 in the k-hat direction. Good. Now we can do the same formulation for tension from B to C. They follow the same formula. It would be the scalar value of tension, BC. They give us the problem over the distance from point B to point C times the position vector are from B to C. So in the problem they tell us that 660 newtons, this would all have, of course, units of newtons. Over our distance from B to C, 8.25, those units will cancel out with the position vector up here. This position is 4.25 i hat minus 7 j hat plus 1 k hat. Good. So we're going to multiply this all out. So we have 660 divided by 8.25. And we get 80. So we multiply 80 times all these values. 80 times 4.25 would be 340 i hat minus 80 times 7, so it's minus 560 in J hat, and then 1 times 80 would be 80, so plus 80 in the K hat. And again, these are all have units of newtons as well. Now, the result that we're trying to find, this red vector I've drawn in, is the summation of these two vectors, tension BC and tension BA. So I'm going to write the resultant at B is equal to the summation of tension BA vector plus tension BC vector, tension values. We can simply sum up these two, we can simply sum up these two tension vectors by just adding. So we have negative 420, I'm sorry. We have negative 45. Carefully your components. Be sure to stay in the same unit vectors. So we have negative 45 plus 340, 
would give us 295 in the i-hat direction. We have 360, positive 360 minus 560, which would give us negative 200 in the j-hat direction. Ah, again, make sure we're staying in the same components. These aren't lined up perfectly. So this one matches with this one, this matches with this one, this one matches with this k-hat, i-hat, j-hat, and k-hat. This would be negative 420 minus 560 to be negative 980 in j-hat direction. Then we have positive 360 plus 80, which is then going to give us plus 440 in the k-hat direction. Good. All right. Good. So now we can take our moment cross product, and we can transform that into our determinant to solve for the moment about O, about point B. So now this is equal to, we have our unit vectors, i hat, j hat, and k hat up top. And we have our position vector next on this row, and then our force vector, resultant vector, on this row. So our position vector, O to B, is simply 7 in the positive j direction, so it would be a 0 here. And this vector for resultant is positive 295. We have our j hat components now. This has 7 going up, up the tree. And this would be our negative 980. Finally, we have our k hat components again, 0 here. 440 positive in the k hat. And then we're going to repeat this on the outside, the i and j hat columns. We have i hat 0, 295, j hat 7, negative 980. Now I'm going to solve this determinant for this matrix by going, adding up diagonals going down to the right and subtracting diagonals going up and to the right or down to the left. So that would look like this, going down to the right, we'd have 440, positive, we're adding 440 times 7 times i hat. Good. Now going in this diagonal, we have a 0, so this would be plus 0. And then going here, in this diagonal, we have, again, plus a 0. Okay. Now we're going to subtract our vectors going this direction, up and to the right, or down to the left. So up to the right we have minus, in parentheses, 295 times 7 k hat. Going up and to the right again we have a 0 minus a 0, up and to the right again we have another 0. So our moment about point O is simply equal to these two components. Okay, so we type them into the calculator again. We have 440 times 7. Okay, so we have 440 times 7 in the i hat direction, which is positive 3080 newton meters. We have negative 295 times 7 k hat, which is negative 265 newton meters. So the positive moment, moment uh, component will be in the counterclockwise. The negative moment component will be in the, in the clockwise direction. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me in another Simple STEM Solution video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support this channel or have particular questions you want answered, be sure to check out my Patreon community via the link in the description below.